what's happening right now from RTV6, the Indy Channel. And good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us. New details tonight about a deadly shooting involving Indianapolis Metro Police. It happened on the city's east side late this afternoon. Investigators now say the suspect was holding a knife. RTV6's Ebony Monet is live with the story. Ebony. Drew, people who live here tell me this neighborhood is quiet, filled of mostly retirees. That's why they're extremely shocked by this evening's deadly shooting. By nightfall, investigators continue to piece together what led to a deadly encounter here on Heather Circle. I was outside with my dog, and I was coming in, and the police was coming around the corner with the guns already drawn out. So, and um, one of the officers told me to go back inside, and I saw him knocking on the door. And about three, four minutes later, they kicked the door in. Indianapolis Metro Police say officers came to this northeast side neighborhood after a 911 dispatcher took a call from this home. The operator heard threats in the background, serious enough to warrant a police response. They came in contact with an individual wielding some sort of weapon. Uh, it wasn't a gun, uh, but at that point, they felt their lives were in danger. Uh, uh, they asked this individual multiple times inside of the home to, uh, to drop the weapon. I believe it may have been a knife or some sort. We're still kind of figuring that out. Uh, but he did not. Uh, came towards the officers and they were forced to use their department issued guns and fire at him. Police have identified the weapon as a knife and say two officers shot and killed the man who wouldn't drop it. It's just surprising because, like I said, nothing really happens here. You don't even hear, you hear a dog bark once in a while, but other than that, Nothing ever really happens on this side of the street. If you go on the other side of Middhoff, where you might be in trouble, but on this side of the street, it's very, very quiet. Neighbors say a husband and wife live here with their adult son and have for nearly 30 years. This son was seen shoveling snow outside of the house, where just a few hours later, it became the site of a lethal shooting. Something made them want to kick their door in, mm -hmm. from going from a knock mm -hmm. to kicking it in. Officers were not hurt, and the two involved in the shooting are now on administrative leave, which is standard. Internal Affairs is also investigating. Reporting live on the east side, Ebony Monet, RTV6. All right, Ebony, thanks. And today's shooting makes five shootings this year involving Metro police officers. They happened on January 2nd, January 9th, and another on January 9th. In one of those incidents, the suspect was hurt. Officers say they had to use deadly force on January 15th during a gun battle with a suspect. Officers say it started as a traffic stop, then led to a chase. One officer had to be taken to the hospital.